Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and my playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. So last time we left off, we fixed this tower. Ha! Ha! Cooked. We broke miserably at that pickup game, which I thought about going back to this. This episode, but I think I'm going to move on. Okay, so I could go back this way and go this way. Let's see if I can find Rito Village, or I could continue on this way and find the Goron Village, I think. I think I'm going to go back this way. And I think I actually can just fast travel and then have the stable fetch my horse. First I'm going to sleep because I need some help. Hey! When the glow uh, of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to the flesh. The world is threatened once again. Oh, dude. Me, you, the pet from a horse. Ah. Ah. Oh, I still have. I still have all my Breath of the Wild horses. Even though I restarted my file. Oh! I even got this guy. The Midnight. I really liked Midnight. I'm taking Midnight. Just hey. hey, busy day. You know, there used to be an awful, and I mean awful, thunderstorm raging throughout this whole area. Never let up. Until recently it did. Which is why he was able oh. to come here. Now that it's safer, maybe I should climb a tall tree and scope things out. Oh. Ha. 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 The Stop once you oh. did or did it stop at all? <laughs> oh, hey, oh, okay. Another, um, thing. Oh, did I reach for the village here? I thought I would have to go into the unexplored area to find Rita Village. No, this isn't a real village. Right? Is that the Phantom Bridge Steel? Is it? Is it? I think it is. Alright then, I'll take them. Oh, did you need to speak with Banji? Apologies, we were caught up in our conversation. I'm from Rito Village to the northwest. Uh. Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're fortunate the kind folks from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Uh. Don't mention it, really. The Rito have just been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. Let me know if there's anything else you need, alright? I can arrange to have it sit here and then pack it up for you to carry home. 
Words cannot express my gratitude. It should be a shrine somewhere close by. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good day. Well, welcome to our stable. Nervous. I'm nervous. You're our first new customer in a while. Traveler, aren't you, Mr. This day was so far to the west that we don't get many new customers. Aww. Even less now. There's this really bad snowboard snowstorm in the Hebra region next to us. So nobody's showing up. So, did you come to talk to me because you wanted to ask at the stable? Sure. You just had this look about you, that's it. I hope someone tells me all about this amazing place. Well, allow me to give you an explanation of the stuff. Ah. Okay. So, you want to rest here? Normally my mom would tell you all about the area around us, but she's under the tree talking to Reed, our lady, right now. So I'll tell you instead. Hi. Get west, there's Rito Village, and east, New Serene Stable. And if you want to know about the Stable's facility, ask Kenyo, my big brother. He is working just nearby. <laughs> Oh, and also, I'd be happy if you talked to my little brother show, too. I love getting to work with my family. But where is... The shrine? Is it up here? Is it up here? In the last game. Oh, there it is. I need to reach my friend. Oh, no. Where is your friend? I see. Yeah. Hmm. What do I have? I have an air balloon, a time bomb, a cooking thing, and a flame wheel. None of those things are going to help me get this guy there, but this will. Just a little bit. I found to the hit so far. Sure, I found another one. Some cool. Do you have for me today? Set your aim and aim for that. Oh. Okay, I know how to use a bow.
Sort to my inventory. My inventory. This should be dropped. No arrows, though. I would love horse marrows. I have very many left. Oh, I guess. Strong construct bow. Okay, should keep at least one non metal one on hand for the event of storms. This area is crawling with guardians of last game. Did they replace him with anything? Oh, there's some spicy peppers. <laughs> spicy peppers. I might need these if I don't have enough spicy food to make it through the cold to the village. And I'm probably go I might end up. I might end up needing to. Uh, Sell a bunch of things in order to buy the cold stuff. Huh. I have that song that was super popular when I was in high school, stuck in my head. The kids at school. Absolutely love it. So we listen to it. I listen to it like three times with them. So every time I see a fox, this time I can just go. What does the fox say? Clover Gazette. I am sorry, old habits died hard. Harder than the stables do, clearly. I just do odd jobs, so if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask someone inside. Oh. This place was once a stable, and I was once its owner. But when that terrible cold wave rolled in, it froze up our business along with the rest of Hebra. Ah. Which is why the stable is closed, and the Lucky Clover Gazette has bought out the old space. I don't have anywhere else to go, so I thought I'd try it to help out around here. Uh. Not that I'm much good at it, I just learned the terrifying way that ha what happens when you burn a Hylian pine cone. Oh. Perhaps due to the abnormal weather, there's been an explosive increase in Hylian pine cones. They're oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact. I tossed one into fire kindling and the force with which it burned with the whirlwind. Ah. In which which, in turn, sent all the freshly printed newspaper papers flying ah. far, far away. If you find a Highland Pinecone on your own, whatever you do, don't throw it in a fire. But what if that's what I want? Oh. Yeah, no, what's that? Oops, I didn't mean it. Step into the fire. Is it still cold inside? Okay. We'll do it all from here. Huh? Shh. Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for a big Princess Zelda investigation. We're here to talk about a newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me, too. 
I'm next in charge. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. It's you. I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike for a lookout landing where you haven't got wings. But here you are. Was it easy to find the place? Oh. Some folks passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy cheated the previous owner out of it. But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad. Not bad at all. I assume you came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you, Tracy. Oh. Just picture it. Traveling the world as a reporter. Shining lights of the truth. We'll be partners out there. Oh. Hey, quiet. Ah? Don't you listen, Finn. I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Can you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? Oh. I, sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. Huh? New applicant. Hmm, hang on. You look like, ah. Uh? Me. Hey, sorry, Pin, but could you give me this, this guy a second here? Ah! Oh. Alright, how about you give me the whole story then? I'm the editor at Lucky Clover Gazette here. If you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know everyone involved with this story. Pura asked us for help digging into what happened to Princess Zelda. Now, tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Hmm. Interesting. So that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Ah. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting to strong all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Ah. I was about to assign Pin to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pin who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free. Though that'd be nice. Wait just a second. I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> Ta-da! Looks like a froggy armor. That on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces. No slipping. You work pins to chase down all these new stories, then I'll give you this armor. Piece by piece, all yours. Wow! A pretty good deal there, like anyway, that's my offer. Hey! Ooh. Being able to climb up walls even oh. when they're wet, that sounds perfect. Starting now, this guy is your partner. Huh. Well, if our editor here says you're in, then it looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Oh. Alright, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pin your head the solid. Stables bring in people, and people bring details, and details are what we need. Now, get me some news. Debug mode. The bridge is out. Aww. Let me guess, you have business in Rito Village as well. Sorry to disappoint you, but the bridge is down. There's no way across. Since the newspaper ran an article about Rito food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive. Which is great, mm. but with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to Rito. I am at my wit's end. It's cold, especially now that the sun's gone down. I might have to throw another Highland pinecone on the fire. <gasps> Those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with one, it caused a gust of wind that made my bangs all frisky. Recently, that guy, Gally, tossed one onto a fire next to some newspapers. The papers got caught up in the guest of wind and flew all the way to Regional <gasps> Village. That's no way to treat the written word. Mm, I just picked up a Hylian pine cone. Alright, I guess I'm leaving my horse here. And going down town. So. <laughs> Alright. I'm getting a little bit nervous about my health. So, it's covered in snow. It looks like Christmas. 
bad is that? <laughs> I'm assuming everybody is up like in the middle of the gym here. There's still some flowers on here. Alright, so I'm about to do a heart. And stamina. Classic gain the heart container sound. It, I remember that sound. I heard it so much growing up when I was playing Ocarina of Time. I played through that game so many times. Not completely through it. I got stuck a lot. So I played through it a lot all the way through until the water temple. And that's where I got stuck, which I don't know, that's where most people got stuck when they got stuck. Um, I did eventually fully beat it. But I did a lot of, I would reach that point and then I'd be stuck. So I would just wander around playing pretend games in the side of the video game. Oh. Everything's going, mister. Oh. We're about to practice our song. Oh. It's called the Song of the Storm Wind Arc. We're all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Huh? Are you going to listen to our song, mister? Sure. <coughs> Yay, we love an audience, so we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? One, and two, and... Once the god fell from heaven, stealing the Hebra winds. The heavens grew lifeless just as the air below then. With the world and the people, we pledge to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The God ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. Mm. Ah. You know, this song is about the ark that saved Rita Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey, that's Stormwind Arc. Is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. Definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us, high in the sky. Oh. We could be sure to use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Oh. Well, if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over today. Gimme, you're in charge of food. And Molly, we'll need you to make arrows. Yeah! We've all got chops to do, so let's do them. So the adults are just leaving the kids by themselves? Hey! Yeah. Hi. Kid power. Oh. Also, these are... Those two are the kids from the previous game. Is this a new kid? Or is this also a kid from the previous game? What's your name, Molly? Oh! Sorry, but... Okay. Your name is Molly. I don't think there was Molly in the last game. So, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, here you are. You're the third kid from the last game. Oh, oh no. I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. A customer who's sleeping. I wasn't sleeping, not me. Oh. Welcome to Swallow's Roost Den. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. Oh. Mm. How do I only have 53 rubies? How do I only have 53 rubies? I had... Oh, because they bought all the arrows. Duh, oh. that's why. You're also a kid. Why Why is it just kids running the village? Where are the adults? Where are the adults? I need fish though. Hi! 
Well, to me, to make for happier. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I knew everyone would love. A fish pie made with stamina bass. Doesn't that sound yummy? I can't leave the village cat. Catch your bass, thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else. But if I'm gonna make fish pie, I need the fish. I need stamina bass. Alright. Customer, welcome to the Slippery Pocket General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So, um, what can I do for you? I'm here to sell. Alright. Okay, she's where I'll be looking for the fish. Here's the closing yeah. shop. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. What brings you into the shop today? Hi! People are finding more caves on the road east of here and all the way up the hit mountains. They're nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold there if you don't have our outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside. I had the sparkling rocks sometimes. Oh. We'll pay a lot for those ores. So we'll... And so will the folks at the general store. So keep an eagle eye out for them. Alright. I want to say this does the best cold resistant. It's on its own. Oh. It's 500. The pants are 1,000. And the hat is 650. Um, I don't have a hat at all. I don't know if there's actually a difference between the individual pieces, so I'm going to take the hat. I'm going to equip it. And we'll see if that's enough. Can't just break them, apparently. Fair. Fair. I'm almost out of time to record this episode. I'm going to finish exploring the village first. It's a soup ladle. Further up we go. Further up we go. Do 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 do. But seriously, though, where are the adults? Why are the children the only ones up here? Where is everybody? Why is it just children? Ah, oh, those are mine. Hold on. Your problem is that you don't have enough wooden arrows. That's okay then. I don't mind giving them to you. But hear me out oh. first. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monster salad. Ah. Which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Problem is I can't go out to pick ice fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Oh. It's not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. <clears throat> but the cold breeze coming from the past. Do I already have ice fruit? Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Oh! Not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I could use that to make my invention. Oops, I've got manners. May I please have one? Yeah, sure. Why not? Ah! Oh. I attach this to the tip of an arrow. I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I'd scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Ah! Now listen to me. With every breath, I spew out brilliant. Wow. Ah! But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Oh. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day I'll be a world famous arrow maker, one my papa can be proud of. Alright, other oh, some adults. Uh, looks like story related things, so I'm going to keep exploring Rito Village and I will talk to them next episode. Oh, that looks to be all.
There was... Is there anything up here, though? I don't know if it qualifies as a wet surface. Okay, yeah. No, I can't climb up. But there is a shrine right there. So I will do the shrine and then I will call it a day. Taki Shrine. I accidentally hurt myself. so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you will join me for the next one in the meantime don't forget to keep it real spread the love and stay determined i'll see you in the next one Bye bye